Hello everyone, I'm going to cut a new batch of chocolatier soap. Mm -mm. And you can take those edges off. And this one I made yesterday morning, so, or, yeah, rest, about yesterday morning or midday. So it's going to um, be quite difficult to cut because I've left it over 24 hours, I think. And the other day I had a comment from Sharon from Platypus Dreams because I was moaning about how um, I watch people cut soaps with the tank and they seem to just glide through with no effort. And the reason is because people are cutting sooner than I am. Move that down a bit so you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, cutting sooner than I am. So this time... I'm trying to cut, well, no, not this time I'm not, but um, the other time I cut a soap up, I did come back to the workshop after a few hours and I came back to cut it. Um, and now obviously that does make a difference. But this time, this was left last night, so there was no way I was coming back again after five o'clock. So I've gone home, and then I had to go to the wholesaler to go and get um, some bits and pieces. So I didn't come back to cut it last night, so it's going to be rock hard, is what I'm saying. So my brain's not in gear yet. I've just poured a coffee, and I've just been to a shop to get some clothes. Don't tell Matt. <laughs> now, I only spent 20 quid and I got myself a cardigan and a little sort of linen top with a cotton back. It's really pretty actually. And a pair of sunglasses. Hmm. Because I'm hoping that the sun will eventually come out this year. We haven't had any yet. Not really. This summer's been a complete washout. We've been like April, May, June, July has been wet, wet, wet. So it's kind of ruined this whole summer. But never mind, there's nothing you can do about it. But yeah, I bought a bike earlier on in the year so we could go cycling more and, you know, go and find some new places to explore on our bikes. But I haven't been able to do that because of the weather. So every weekend pretty much has been wet. And all week has been wet as well. So we just haven't been able to get out and it's so frustrating. Sitting in your house all the time and you just eat. <laughs> and watch films. I think I've watched Lord of the Rings twice. That was on TV and then I put one on the other day just to... We'd been to a medieval festival and I was in that kind of mood so I put it on again. Let's <laughs> take that liner off. Somebody asked me the other day where would I get these from? eBay. You can get them from any baking store. We've got some balls in this, so mm, this is one of those soaps that always smells good, even from the start. It's like a really nice deep chocolate orange, and it's a blend of fragrance and essential oil. So there's some nice orange and patchouli essential oils, and then a really nice orange chocolate type of fragrance. And it was brought back after it became a favourite last winter. So it's now a permanent fixture. It's pretty hard. And this will go a nice dark brown as well. So that's what it's like inside. But it will darken up and go a chocolate brown. Or at least it did the last time and I'm hoping it does this time. <laughs> So I've based the design again, exactly the same, around the colour actually um, darkening up some, so I think it is on the top, I can see how it's darkened already, so give it a few days and it should be pretty much on its way to what it's going to be like. But it's got some orange and some white swirls as well, as you can see. So the balls will be random in there. Let's the last one. And 
these end bits will be okay for samples. Soaked really nicely yesterday, as you can see, there's no or nothing in there. It's very dense and it sort of feels really nice and smooth. So, happy with that. So, let's get the tank. I should be wearing my gloves as well. Just bear with me a second. from the wholesaler yesterday. I'm sure you really needed to know that. So, here comes our piece of kit where we've not taken the soap off from last time. That's scuzzy, that is. Starting on autumn and Halloween production as well this week. So I've just got some fragrances in the post which I was waiting for so I can do some old favourites again. We've got Dust Witch coming back, Shadow Show will be back and several others. But there's some new ones coming as well. So I'm just going to get this. See it's quite difficult to get through it. So these will just have a little tidy up. So as you can see, there's droplets of white, and then these will really pop once this goes dark brown. Interesting. Last one I seem to have more balls in it, I think, but I can't I can't really remember. It sold out quick anyway. I did a big batch, this is another big batch. Well it's big for me. I do fifty like this would be 40, 45 to fifty bars out of these. some bits I can use to make some soap balls. I threw all my old soap balls away. I was like gathering them up in a big box and some of them were just too old so I got rid of them. So on to the next. I have these new, two new fragrances that I got in the post that I was, oh that's nice, look at that. Sorry, a bit overcome there. <laughs> um, yeah, two new fragrances and one of them is this really gorgeous apple. And I'm not really like into apple scents but this one is really, really good. It's like a real nice spiced sort of stewed apple scent. So I'm going to be really enjoying using that with some mix, like some blends of other stuff for the Halloween stock. So, um... Stay tuned for that. I might do a few cutting videos and stuff. I might have to do a couple of tests first just to see how they're going to perform, just to make sure that we don't have any seizing and that kind of thing. I know they're going to discolour, but that's okay. I just don't want them to go completely wrong. That's another nice one. So I shall, again, where's my little thingy? 
here we will be doing this on all sides of the soap just to tidy it up a bit there you go so that's how they're going to look so the tank is still saving a lot of time and effort like usually this used to take me about an hour or so sometimes more than an hour to cut up a batch of soap but of course now it's a lot lot quicker and I just have not just have to tidy up a little bit so oh, bloody hell tidy up a little bit and get them on the curing shelf so I was gutted yesterday I was just on a soaping roll you know you got it in your head where you're just going to soap all day I had a few orders to pack so I thought I'll do them in between while the lye's cooling down and stuff like that and then I ran out of bloody palm so I had to go off in my car and then by the time I got back it was about half four and I thought I'm going, <laughs> I'm going home so I didn't do any more this was the only one yesterday but never mind okay so those end bits as well on there I will trim those off like so because I don't like those crease bits. Sometimes I've left them, but not very often. I just don't really like the way they stay creased. Anyway, so it's not going to look like this. It's going to look dark brown, and then those swirls and stuff will really pop. So I'll do an update video just to show you how it's coming along. And then what I'm going to do move that. I'll need a good wipe down. So we've got... one bars of soap there so it does depend sometimes I get more sometimes I get less but this one will have to be samples and then these will be samples as well so I'm just gonna chop that off there and chop through so this is what you get if you buy samples they're like an ounce piece. Nice chunky enough. It's good for like a one or two baths or showers and you're done. Just to see it, what you think of it. So there are samples available if you look on the website if you'd rather just try some before you buy then you can. And they're like 150 for a little bar. Okay, so that's that. I'm just going to finish chopping those up into samples and roll a few balls up. And um, I'll see you for another video when I feel like it. Ta-ta!